Today, we will discuss about diabetes, its complication and the impact on the heart as well as preventive measures for the people with diabetes to prevent heart disease. At present, heart disease remains the leading cause of hospitalization and death in people with diabetes. Although most of the people have heard about heart diseases, very few understand exactly what it involves and in turn may not take proper steps to reduce the risk of developing heart disease. Now, the heart disease occurs when the blood circulating to the heart is slowed or stopped because of the blocked artery. What is the reason behind the blockage in the artery? One of the major risk factor is high blood sugar or so called diabetes. Now, let us know what exactly the diabetes means. Diabetes is the disease that affects body's ability to control blood sugar level. In simple terms, it is a condition in which body has too much glucose in the blood. Now, let us understand why this happens. Usually, when you eat your food, the glucose enters into the bloodstream. Further, the insulin, which is a hormone, breaks down the glucose from the blood into your cells to be stored or to be used as energy. With diabetes, your body either does not have enough insulin or can't effectively use the insulin to break the glucose. This leads to the high blood sugar level in the blood. Did you know diabetes can increase your chance of dying from heart disease? Yes, it's true. With diabetes, you are more prone for to get a heart attack. So, when it comes to diabetes, prevention is very important as it can affect whole of your body. In fact, people with diabetes are twice likely to get a heart attack or a stroke compared to the people without diabetes. And it is reported that among patients who are aged more than 65 with diabetes, approximately 68% of them die from heart disease. The chances of developing the heart disease among people with diabetes is dependent on how well you manage your glucose levels. So, when we think about diabetes, we should be thinking about heart disease as well. Now, moving on, let us see how high blood sugar level leads to heart disease. High blood glucose level can damage your blood vessels, worsen the cholesterol level and make blood pressure more prone or more difficult to be managed. Persistent high blood glucose levels due to diabetes make the blood vessel prone for atheroma. This is a condition in which there is narrowing of the blood vessel due to collection of cholesterol. And when the blood vessels narrow, now the blood flow has a trouble reaching the different organs in your body including the heart. A sudden stoppage of the blood flow to the heart can cause a heart attack. Now, there are a number of things you need to do to lower your risk of heart disease. Understanding the connection between the diabetes and the heart disease is the first step towards the prevention. Diabetes, which is often referred to as a lifestyle disease, managing diabetes requires the patient to make significant lifestyle changes lifelong. These changes require lifelong commitment from the patient. One can control the blood sugar level to help the risk of heart diseases to be lowered by changing the lifestyle such as eating heart healthy food, engaging in physical activity, regular blood sugar monitoring, quitting smoking and relieving the stress. Now let us see each of these preventive strategies in detail. First thing is know your ABC of diabetes. A stands for A1C test. The A1C is a blood test that measures your average blood sugar level over the past 3 months. Now, it is different from the blood sugar levels you check every day. You need to know your blood sugar levels over time. So, the A1C level for most of the patients with diabetes is usually below 7. The B stands for blood pressure. Blood pressure is the force of your blood against the wall of your blood vessels. If 
your blood pressure gets too high it makes your heart work harder so the blood pressure goal for most of the patients with diabetes is usually below 140 by 80 mm of mercury the c is for cholesterol for there are two types of cholesterol as we all know ldl and hdl ldl is the bad cholesterol which can build up and clog your blood vessels it can cause heart attack or a stroke if you are aged above 40 years you may need to take a drug called statin for a healthy heart next point is eat healthy and a balanced diet there is no one size fits all approach to eating healthy but it is important to have a regular meal pattern and make healthy food choices your fat and the carbohydrate intake are crucial in managing both diabetes as well as heart disease for this you should make simple switches from saturated fat to unsaturated fat having too much of saturated fat can increase your bad cholesterol in the blood so it is important to reduce the amount of saturated fat you eat and instead switch to unsaturated fat source for example switch from butter or ghee to unsaturated vegetable oil like sunflower and olive oil trim visible fat from the meat and remove the skin from the chicken choose low fat milk and dairy products and swap the biscuits cake and chocolates for healthier snacks like fruits remember fatty food is always high in calories and excess energy can result in weight gain so to help you to manage your weight it is very important that you keep a eye on the total amount of fat you are consuming the different fats have different effects on the body so the diets which are high in saturated fat are linked to high level of ldl cholesterol in the blood eating unsaturated fats instead of saturated fat helps us to maintain the healthy cholesterol level in the blood next point is to eat right that is avoid refined wheat or maida bread cereal potato chips fries red meats and processed meats saturated fat and sugar sweetened beverages rather eat food which is more in fiber such as whole grain cereals dairy products beans and legumes lean meat and fish nuts and healthy oils such as olive oil choose food that is such as fruits green leafy vegetables cereals low fat or skim milk and cut down on the salt we should know that too much salt is linked with high blood pressure which is a major risk for heart disease most of the salt we consume comes from the processed food so we should make sure to check the label to know the salt content in these food items we should remove the salt from the table to stop ourselves from adding the extra salt and try to add flavors to your food by using spice black pepper lemon juice in the food instead of the salt now here are some more tips for the diabetes patient to consider that is eat balanced meal eat a reasonable amount of calories eat regularly at the right time one more thing is do not skip the meals to keep your blood sugar level low and eat slowly try to maintain the healthy weight and engage yourself in regular exercises weight loss may improve your cholesterol level and the triglyceride level blood pressure as well as your diabetes now start with low intensity short duration workouts and gradually increase the intensity and time now gradually increasing the intensity and the duration of exercise is very important be careful if you have already complications of diabetes aerobic exercises such as walking swimming and cycling is recommended for patients at least 3 days a week now coming to medical treatment of diabetes take your medications exactly as prescribed by your doctor eat meals and take medications regularly at the right time always remember that the risk of hypoglycemia if you delay your meal time 
and eat less than usual. The medication must be supported by healthy eating and regular physical activity. The next point is quit smoking and moderation of alcohol use which is very important. Unfortunately, many people who have diabetes smoke and smoking increases the risk of developing the complications associated with type 2 diabetes and it also increases the risk of developing hypoglycemia. Smoking cessation is a very important part of diabetes care. The next important thing is to cope up with stress the best you can. Stress is also known to increase the blood sugars. So instead we should try meditating, deep breathing and other relaxation techniques to beat the stress in the healthy way. Quality sleep is another key for the good heart health. So we should make sure we get about 7 to 9 hours of healthy sleep in the night. One last advice is not to fall prey to the unscientific and the false methods to control diabetes which are suggested by some unauthorized sources and the advertisers usually on the social media and the television. The bottom line is diabetes can lead to serious medical complications including the heart diseases but you can manage this condition with medication as well as lifestyle changes. Avoid the most common diabetes complications with these preventive tips. With this, I wish you manage your diabetes well to have a healthy heart. Do consult your physician regularly. Thank you.